Hi there, this is Ranjit from tech2batch.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to remotely control media playback from a portable device like a smartphone or a tablet and what we are trying to do here is for example uh, let's say uh, you have a, a great PC and you have great speakers on that and you just want to remotely control what is playing back on that via a portable device like a smartphone or a tablet and actually you can do this easily via DLNA uh, if uh, you uh, think it's very complicated no it's very easy to do the same i have already made a video about dlna so you can check out this video to know what is dlna but let's uh, uh, not get into that and i'll explain you uh, very easily you can do that for example if you have an android based smartphone or a tablet uh, you have a lot of utilities uh, free utilities and uh, i'm going to use a free app called bubble upnp i'm going to talk about that a bit later and uh, for dlna also you need a dlna server but don't get alarmed uh, if you're using a windows based pc for example windows 7 and even windows 8 the built-in windows media player app actually has a fully functional dlna uh, server and i'm going to show you how to configure the same and once we have done that you can actually just play a song on your uh, from your smartphone and it will play directly on your pc speakers you can also stream video stuff but i generally use this for, for example in the evenings uh, i just shut off the monitor of my uh, main computer and I just remotely control the music thereby i can be uh, sitting far away from the computer also then also i can remotely control the music and we're going to i'm going to show you how to do the same now and first let me show you how to configure the windows media player the first thing that you need to do is this is windows 8 uh, but yeah the start menu is due to the windows uh, start menu 8 uh, i made a video about it and the first thing that you need to do is open up the media player windows media player and here we have that and here if you go to this is the library mode and here you'll find an option of stream just select this and go to this more streaming options and here uh, you will find uh, uh, show devices on local network just select that because for this to work all your devices for example your smartphone and PC should be on the same uh, uh, network and just I love all as you can see I have a lot of DLNA enabled devices uh, so just select all and uh, hit the next button over here and here you can also give uh, uh, for example if you want to share the music etc and videos that you have on the computer uh, you can share them and just hit next we don't uh, require this for what we are trying to do and just has finished and we are here and from here again you need to check these I love remote control of my player because what we are trying to do is uh, we're going to remotely send the file to this so for that we need to enable this allow remote control of my player and you can also check uh, check this for allowing uh, devices to play the media that's on your computer so once we have done this uh, one thing that you need to remember is that for it to work you have to open the windows media player like this and just keep it open if you keep it uh, if you switch this off it does not work now what we have to do is uh, for example i'm going to show you this with an android device and we have to install a free app called bubble upnp and let me show you the same now and this is our android based uh, smartphone you can have a tablet also and you just go to the play store and download this app bubble upnp uh, it's a free version the free version also works we also have a paid version that has a little bit more options but for, uh, i'll show you with the free version i've already uh, uh, installed it and once it's installed just open and follow the wizard and now what we can do actually with this is if you go down let me just zoom in a little bit if you go to this tab that's devices here in the libraries uh, it will show uh, you can select our windows pc but we don't want we are going to play back uh, for example let's say the music that we have on the phone to the windows 8 pc and for that uh, we have to select the renderer and the renderer that we want is just select it instead of the local render if you just keep it it will play back on the phone itself but we want to play back on the windows 8 pc so i'm just going to select that now as we have selected that now we can just go to our library this is our library and uh, let's go to music let's play an audio file let me just go to all, uh, all tracks and let me just zoom out a little bit and this is my windows space pc and when i just hit this track this is a test track it should start playing and it's playing from the pc now so as you can see and now i can control it if i just press pause it will pause immediately i can move to the next track so this way you can control the media playback 
directly from a smartphone or a tablet. It's just not restricted to, uh, let's say, just uh, audio files. For example, let me just go back to the library and let's see if I have some video files here. Uh, let's go to videos. And I have a test video over here. And uh, let me just uh, invoke that. And, and now it will play. Hi, this is Ranjit. Actually, this is the video that's playing. You four productive apps that you can this use. This is a video that's playing. Windows, uh, uh, I'll just pause it. I so this, I'll just uh, scrub it. And as you can see, I can scrub it around. Editing software, the, when the video is completed. I can pause it and I can stop it. So this way you can control music as well as video to a remote device. Actually, as I told you, let me zoom back to my uh, phone. I have a lot of DLNA enabled devices in my setup. Uh, for example, if I go to devices, as you can see, I also have a WDD TV and uh, my home theater is not switched on. I also have my home theater that's DLNA enabled. For example, I can easily switch between uh, the playback to my Windows 8 PC or to my WDD TV or to my home theater this way. This is all being done by DLNA. So if you want to know more about DLNA, you can check out the other video I made about DLNA. The link will be in the show notes. If you have any questions about this, do post them in the comment section. I'll try to answer them. If you found this video helpful, I'll appreciate if you can click the like button down below. That's it for now. This is Ranjit and I hope to see you in my next video.